South African water withdrawals are reaching unsustainable levels. This could leave the water system vulnerable, especially its ability to respond to droughts and demands from increased temperatures due to climate change. The African Futures Project, together with the Water Research Commission, have forecasted levels of supply and withdrawal for the next 20 years. By 2035, municipal water demand is expected to increase by 43% due to population growth, rising income and urbanisation. Industrial water demand is set to increase by 12% by 2035 due to non-renewable electricity generation and manufacturing. Agricultural water demand is expected to increase by 9% by 2035 due to an expansion of land under irrigation. The Department of Water and Sanitation has set various targets for increasing supply and managing demand. These targets are aggressive and achieving them will require all South Africans to play their part for a brighter future. More work will be needed to close the gap. South Africa's surface water supply is reaching its limit. We cannot regard big infrastructure development as the only way to increase water supply. There is no simple solution. It's time to act. We created a scenario where the gap between demand and supply is closed by 2035. This requires increasing supply and reducing withdrawals above and beyond the measures set out in the official plans. Only half of the municipal wastewater in South Africa is treated. The rest is released into rivers and streams which must be treated before reuse downstream. Treating wastewater not only increases the quality of water, it increases the country's supply. Groundwater is underused. 14% of the future water needed can come from groundwater. It may be the most important way for the expansion of the agriculture sector to be made possible. While increasing supply is important to close the gap, demand management is even more important. Most of the improvements in demand management must come from the municipal sector. One quarter of municipal water in South Africa is lost through leaks. The government plans to train and hire more plumbers to reduce this loss, but behavioural changes among citizens are also necessary. We can all contribute to the solution. The average South African uses more water than the global average. South Africa is a water-scarce country where nearly 4 million people do not have access to an improved water source. Even with all of these interventions, we forecast that withdrawals will exceed supply for the next 20 years. This means special measures will be needed in vulnerable communities to prevent drought from leading to humanitarian crises. South Africa is a dry country, and water planning is key to our long-term prosperity. Do your part. Save water. Join the conversation online.